Welcome everyone, Farmer Cop here. This is going to be a new mod map tour of somewhere in Lower Bavaria. This is a map by Paco. It is 419.49 megabytes to download for all platforms. Uh, I apologize it did come out uh, a couple days ago, but I'm finally getting around to it. Uh, work has just been crazy for me. I've been having one day off a week, which has been terrible. So anyhow, I'm trying to do what I can for you guys, so I apologize. Uh, the description is pretty short, so I'll go ahead and read that real quick. It says, Welcome to Somewhere in the Bavarian Forest. This is my first map, which is based on an area near Passau. I'm probably saying that wrong, so I apologize. On the map, you can expect six farms, 63 farmlands, 13 forest areas for the tree pushers, one large BGA, one small BGA, various productions. Have fun on my first modding project. And then there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 25, 25, 25 total, total required mods. So a lot of required mods. So there's probably a bunch of extras in here from other map tours and stuff I've done. But anyhow, uh, let's hop in the menu and take a look. So here is the map again. Nice little foresty area through here. Um, we'll buy all the land in a second and take a look at it. But starting out new farm mode, we own chunk 29. That is it. Yeah, that's everything. We can see like that looks like a farm area up there. So and that looks like another farm up there. So we'll buy everything so we can take a look at where everything's at on the map. Uh, pretty standard crop calendar as far as I can see in here. Um, there's going to be a bunch of extra stuff because I have a bunch of... Uh, yeah, who knows what stuff is on this map or not. I guess technically everything's on the map right now, but they had a bunch of extra mods again, like I said, so there's a bunch of stuff on there. Uh, a lot of starting equipment. We'll take a look at that in the shop in a second. Start off $100,000, no starting loan. Uh, you do have the Hessian cow barn, chicken pasture, sheep pasture, sheep pasture, and sheep pasture to start with. So three sheep pastures in there. There are contracts in the fields you do not own. Um, you do own the Hessian fermenter silo to start off and an open air garden by Omatana. One, well, maybe more than one. One, two of those and then one two fruit greenhouses and then a small garden so a lot of gardening you can do right off the bat um and no collectibles on the map so i'm not sure where all of those those i mean they might be kind of scattered looks like that might be where a lot of them are up over there so not sure again doesn't look like we own the land on them you can't buy all the land which is kind of a bummer uh but otherwise pretty nice stuff on there um let's just go in store and take a look at what we start off with nothing least we do own a Valtra G125 and a Styria 8150. We have a Deutz Far top liner 4090H harvester with a uh, header for it. We have a Wolgar DK115 trailer. We have a small cultivator, small power harrow, small cedar, small fertilizer spreader, a manure spreader, which is kind of nice, a slurry tank there, slurry spreader, well, slurry spreader, I guess, sorry. Uh, a decent mower setup there, not too bad. A uh, tether. We have ourselves a very small windrower. We have a little forage wagon as well. Um, we have ourselves a little the little KUHN uh, RA142 little uh, forage mixer. And yes, you have to say KUHN because YouTube doesn't like it if you say the full word. Uh, we have the water tank here in case some of you guys have left comments because you guys do sometimes when I say that. We have a quickie front loader attachment there. And then we have the uh, all but fork with grapple and the all but universal bucket. There's a couple of tools through there. Oh, no, I don't want to sell that. Uh, so yes, that's where we're at. Um, we are down here at the shop right off the bat, but I think we'll walk around this area in a second. Let's go ahead and purchase uh, all the land. There we go. Boom. Okay. So now that all the land's been purchased, we see a few things have popped up, but not a ton, which is kind of nice. to make it kind of easy to still keep looking around and doing sort of that sort of thing. I think with how spread out everything is, I think we'll mostly do a flyover of this map. So we'll probably walk around this area to get a feel for it. Let's take a look at the starting farm over here, because again, we just own this chunk starting out. Um, and go from there. So, again, farm shop here. All set, good to go there. Nice decorations on it, like that. Um, repair trigger looks like, yep, it's over here. Nice little repair trigger area. Is that marked separate? That is. Vehicle workshop over here. So, pretty nifty. But yeah, I like that. Very well set up. Nice little farm area. Let me fast forward time a little bit too, just to. Oh, I don't have my. Oh, nope, there it is. Oh, gosh. That was. For whatever reason, it wasn't working for a second, and then all of a sudden it worked all at once. Let me just fix this real quick for us. We will just use this. Should have just done this in the first place. Would have been a little bit easier. Uh, we will actually just go to the next year so we can see a little bit better. We'll go to July. Yeah, that'll be fine. Okay, beautiful. Look at that. Now it's just beautiful out here for us. Uh, we do have the fuel shop right here. Or a little gas station. I don't know why I call it a fuel shop, but I did. So it's done. Uh, we do have a sell point back around here as well. Right there for us. This is the, uh, yep, German. 
I think, I hope, we're in Bavaria, so that should be probably Germany. Uh, it is Germany. I'm sorry, I'm terrible. Uh, okay, uh, just over this way, we have the grain mill, so that's this building over here. We're just going to cut through these sunflowers real quick and up that cliff there. Uh, here's the grain mill. Like to do some grain production. Looks like it's the same one from uh, Elm Creek, so you can do all that sort of stuff here. Uh, if we wanted to follow the road back around, it just back around this way, no big deal. Right to where we were at here. We can kind of push through. Oh, goodness, just headbutted that poor lady there. Uh, we can keep pushing through here. Here's kind of where we started off back where the vehicle shop was. And if we keep going down this way, we will come upon our nice little farm that we have starting out. And there should be a little... So, oh, that's the repair shop. I was like, is there a cell point over there? I was looking at the icon. And here we are. Entrance into our nice farmyard area. Sleep trigger here. And then wardrobe trigger right there for us. Plenty of storage. We've got some of our equipment here. Looks like it's a little dirty. Just needs a nice wash. Silo here for us to use. More storage there. Nothing around the backside. Uh, oh, actually, no, we have a shed over here. Nice little shed over here. Our Valtra. Uh, bunker silo right over there. Here's our cow barn, Hessian cow barn, which can do 45 cows, which is kind of nice. You have a nice yard here. Loops back into the cow barn. Then over here, we have the fermenting silo. Get some stuff fermented. Again, that should be under your reductions in here towards the top. This guy right here, grass, hay, chaff, and straw silage. Power washer, which is good because our vehicles are dirty. Some more storage here. And then, again, this building has part of the Hessian farm pack, I believe. Um, but nice little upstairs kind of loft area there. Open that up. More storage there. And this just goes into this room with that stuff. But that is... Oh, that was kind of... Interesting how that just goes right through there. Uh, but yes, that is what we have over here. I think we'll keep walking a little bit to keep taking a look at this area here. So... Just over kind of behind us, we have the small biogas plant, which I believe we start off owning that. It's through our field. Let's see if we can't run over to take a look at that. So this field back here is the one we own. And then, yes, we have a biogas plant right back here. So here is our biogas plant with some more bunker silos and everything. You have a nice forestry road to get through there. And I don't think there's any other way. I think you have to take that road in. Yeah, it looks like it. Uh, let's get back over to the town area. Yep, nice little backside of our farm there. Uh, okay, and then over there, what do we have over there? We have another cell point up this way. There we go. Easiest way to get in here, you know, through this road right through here. A little tight, though, still, regardless of that. Get back out to the main road. We'll continue a little bit further this way. We do have this guy right here. Is this like the bakery? What do we got here? Uh, yeah, probably the baker right here. Looks like it. Yep. There we go. Um, and then what do we have up there? The Agricultural Fair. Ooh, and that's one of the required mods, I believe, as well. Yeah, so we can go over here and sell stuff at the Agricultural Fair. And oh, there's AI traffic. Is trying to work its way through. It is just struggling. This might be something that has to be fixed on the map. A little bit of a glitch here, but it does kind of look kind of cool, honestly, even with the glitch. Because everyone's just in line to get their stuff, it looks like. So this looks like it's a very busy uh, busy day at the Agricultural Fair, but it might be a pain if you're trying to sell stuff. So you might just have to turn AI traffic off. Uh, but okay, let's go ahead and fly around the rest of the map and uh, get a good look around and see what else we got on here. Flight mode there, perfect. So stuff we've seen so far with the Agricultural Fair there, it's the edge of the map there, which is pretty well hidden, quite honestly. It looks a little abrupt from up here, but down on the map, it seems pretty well hidden. We have the bakery point there. I'm not sure what this is. This might just be decorative. We have our small BG out here, and then we have this field, which we own. And we have kind of our starting farmyard here, which is nice. We got the shop over here. Gray mill out over there. And then again, we have a few other little shops and things in here, which is nice. And the only thing we really have out this way is this is a, uh, a farmhouse up here, which there's nice little kind of uh, switchbacks up to get to the top of this mountain here. We have, that would be a nice cool little farm area up here. But yep, that is a nice farmhouse up there. It looks like we've got our sawmill right over here in the middle. Yeah, it looks like we do there. 
So again, we got our sawmill right here. That's what we're kind of heading towards right now. Um, and then that again, that was the little Landsberg farm. That's the little farmhouse icon down there. And up this way, if we continue, we have this cell point. Oh, this is a little tricky here. We have a floating thing. Floating concrete slab, it looks like. Anyhow, that just needs to be fixed. We've been finding a lot of floating stuff on uh, maps recently. Uh, we have another cell point right here. And up over here, we have another cell point with the livestock dealer and then a couple of buy points, including a fresh feed for animals. That's this area right here. So see some buy points there, animal dealer cell point, and the animal dealer itself are right there. If we continue on this way, just below us here, we have ourselves the debris crusher, and then we also have a, a buy point right there as well. And then a few little productions out here. It looks like we've got the dairy, uh, the sugar mill, and the oil mill. Are those going to be labeled that way? Nope, they're all in German. That's okay. Translating based on how the vehicles look. A little kind of a van and shed there. And then up here in the corner, looks kind of like we have our other BGA. Yeah, we have our bigger... Is that our bigger BGA? How big is this one? 50. Yeah, this is a 99 kilowatt. So this is the bigger BGA up here. And if we continue along the top here, we have quite a few fields up over in this area. We have another little farm here. You can see some bunker styles and stuff on it. And then a little kind of village here. Um, we have a couple cell points. We have this one, the biomass heating plant, and we have the bakery up here, another bakery. Uh, we have the farmhouse for this one. It has a manure heap, cow barn, small uh, fuel tank there, seed storage, a farm silo, and then a water tank. So that's what this farm is going to come with right there for us. We continue down along here. We have another kind of little village area here. You can see there's some bunker silos right in there as well. That looks like another kind of farm. Chicken pasture, there's a garden pump down there, small garden, farmhouse, cow shed with manure pet, and chicken shed, or shed with chicken coop and silo, excuse me, liquid manure tank as well. So all that stuff down there. And if we move down this way, we've kind of seen all that stuff over there now. We've been down around the bottom. Over here is where we kind of have all of our little gardens and things, which I think we theoretically own to start. So we have those all down through here. See a big old garden area through here. So we have the Open air garden, we have the fruit greenhouse, another fruit greenhouse, another open air garden, carpentry point, spinnery point, we have the great processing plant, and then a recycling center point of sale. So a lot of stuff going on up there, and it's kind of cool how the road swoops around and kind of does that like that. It's pretty nifty. And then down here, I believe this is another one of our farms. Uh, this one has a farmhouse, um, a farmhouse with an integrated cow stable, so that's the cow stable portion of it. And then we have a multi or a farm style of multi-fruit. And then down here... No little village area, but all decorative, it seems like. And I think we have, yeah, up here we have kind of a sheep farm, which you can see it has a nice little grass field that uh, comes with it right here. Uh, so we have our three sheep pastures, but I think we technically own those starting out. Then we have a hayloft, and we have a diesel tank right there. And that leads us back over here to the very busy, very, very busy agricultural fair, which is, oh, they're taking care of customers now, it looks like. I'm sure some of the cars just kind of timed out and despawned. But there you go. That is somewhere in Lower Bavaria. A very cool little map. I like that. A very quaint little European map with plenty of stuff to do on it. Uh, so yeah, if you guys enjoyed, please drop a like down below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button up on the screen to join the Farmer Cop channel and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos I may post. This has been Farmer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.